Hi, I'm Philippa Perry. What's troubling you? Hi, Philippa. I've been doing a PhD now since 2008, um, and I just can't motivate myself to finish it. When I started, I was uh, in my 20s, and I had nothing to lose. I, I, I thought I had plenty of time to get it done, and I didn't really have any barriers. Now, all these years later, I'm um, 32, I have a part-time job and a four-year-old daughter. Um, it's not just that I can't find time, though, it's that my motivation for finishing it is, is wobbly. I really want to get it done for my career, and I know I have to, to be the academic I want to be, but I can't find it within myself to sit down at my chair long enough to get anything done. It might be that I'm daunted by the task, or that I'm now a different person to who I, who I was. I don't know. I would really appreciate your advice. Hmm. Sometimes it seems as though we're split in two. It's like there's a top dog who tries to loudly call the shots and say things like, you've got to finish your PhD. And then there's the underdog who doesn't really say anything but seems to rule the roost anyway. The underdog just does what it wants and it drags you along with it. It seems to me that your top dog would very much like to complete your PhD, but your underdog is having none of it. What you need to do is imagine that underdog, and although you don't want to, listen to it. Because until it's heard, it's going to keep on sabotaging your plans. This isn't a new idea. Plato imagined the soul being a chariot being pulled by two horses. One horse is high ideals, that's what I'm calling top dog, and the other one was appetite, underdog. You are the driver, and in order to get the damn chariot to where you want to be, it's no use just listening to just one horse, otherwise you'll just go around in circles. You have to listen to both. I imagine what it will take to get your underdog back on board is a bit of excitement and enthusiasm. The idea of obtaining a PhD might have been excitement enough when you had more time and you were in your 20s, but these days, in your maturity, you need something more. And if I'm right about this, you'll have to go back to your academic supervisor and rewrite your research question in a way that excites you and gets your underdog back on board again. Good luck. If you want to leave me a voicemail, please call my Guardian phone line, plus four four two zero three three five three three eight four one. Hi, Philippa. I split up with my girlfriend three years ago. We're now in our late thirties. It's my fault we separated. I called it a day. She was very committed to our relationship. Whilst I was two, I wasn't quite ready to move at her pace and start a family. 